Thanks for joining us. In this demo, you'll see how easy it is to visualize all of the planet data layers using our Sentinel Hub APIs for time series analysis within your applications or R&D tools. Planet offers all the Earth observation data you need to solve the complex problems facing agriculture today. From our planetary variables, including our newest field boundaries, to planet scope to sky set. And Planet also offers all of the basic functionality you need for agricultural analysis and visualization through Sentinel Hub, available through simple API calls for quick implementation. Optimized for efficiency, Sentinel Hub APIs can batch process at scale so you can spend your time creating the functionality that will differentiate your product. In this simple test application, I'll start by selecting a field. These field boundaries came from our newest planetary variable. To keep this simple, we'll select just one field. Then I select the product. First, I'm going to select crop biomass. Then I'll choose a start and an end date, and the system will return crop biomass for the dates in the time range from May 1st to October 31st. Then I'll select Calculate Statistics. This calls the Sentinel Hub Statistics API and returns the values over the selected time. And there you have it. By looking at the planet crop biomass product over time, you get a clear picture of the crop phenology curve for the 2022 growing season for this field. Crop biomass is a measurement of crop growth delivered daily at 10 meter resolution. And crop phenology curves are the key to unlocking so much information in agriculture. They're essential for crop management, defining windows of fertilizer application, irrigation scheduling, disease prevention, crop type classification, yield estimation, and harvest timing. This help drives critical field management decisions at the right time. As you can see here, you can easily focus on one specific date and see that particular crop biomass map. You can create these time series curves using any of the planet products, including a long list of crop indices. To keep this simple, we're only going to show the NDVI index here. So we select NDVI, leave the dates the same, and select Calculate Statistics. Now I click on August 28th in the phenology curve, and you can see the NDVI map for that date. Here you can see the interfield variation as the crop begins to approach canopy closure, so you can see which areas are lagging and should be considered for treatment. As we highlighted at the beginning, all of these analytics are against the backdrop of the new planetary variable field boundaries. We generate these field boundaries for large areas automatically from satellite imagery. This field boundaries planetary variable is ideal for regional analysis and work being done at scale. Two of our other planetary variables, soil water content and land surface temperature at 100 meters and 1 kilometer resolution are also ideal for analytics at a regional scale or for looking at overall conditions for a field. Let's take a quick look at land surface temperature. As one would expect, we are seeing high temperatures within this field in August. Looking at the time series data for land surface temperature and soil water content along with the crop phenology curve can highlight heat events or rain events that have taken place during critical parts of the crop growth cycle, impacting yields. We have customers that use this data for yield estimation models as well as models for drought insurance. I hope you enjoyed this quick technical demonstration of the power of Sentinel Hub and Planet Data, including our new Field Boundaries Planetary Variable for agricultural analysis at scale. Thanks for watching.